today on Jurgen's Journeys, we're hunting grizzly bear. Yeah, down at Rustic Trail Teardrop Campers. You come along and we're gonna interview the owners and check out the grizzly model and see what you think about it. If you like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and uh, certainly invite you to subscribe to the channel and uh, share the video if you think uh, it's worthwhile. But uh, anyway, come along, we'll have some fun hunting grizzly. Well, today we're back at Rustic Trail Teardrop Campers, and I appreciate you joining me. And I'd like to introduce you to some new friends that I've made. This is Steve, Amberly, Meredith, Derek, and Madeline, best of all. So uh, today we're going to talk about this great little line of campers. And uh, maybe they can fill us in a little bit about some things that we didn't cover last year. Uh, last year we did a video on this and you can find a link to that up above. Um, but there's some great new stuff, some new people, and we want to uh, let you hear from them. So. I'm going to start with Steve and ask Steve uh, if he would just tell us a little bit about uh, you guys and your involvement in Rustic Trail. Sure. Yeah, so it's a quite interesting story, actually. So uh, my wife, Amberly, and I, uh, in 2018, uh, right after we got married, uh, started looking for a small teardrop camper uh, to tow behind our car. And uh, so through our investigation, we found Rustic Trail. And so we purchased a uh, Kodiak model uh, from Jonathan and Kathy Seacrest back in 2018. But where were you living at that time? Uh, we lived in Connecticut. Okay. Yeah. So, so we, we actually had the camper delivered to us okay. at our house. Mm -hmm. uh, we had never seen a Kodiak before. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much sight unseen, you know. But we are very pleased with, with the product. So. Mm -hmm. um, so that summer, both my wife and I are school teachers. So, you know, having a summer off is nice to be able to travel. Um, so we took our Kodiak just that summer long. I think we put between around 15,000 miles on the camper. Wow. Uh, we traveled all over the place. So, um, and shortly after owning it, uh, I started doing some marketing work for the Seacrest. We built the website um, and uh, some other stuff that we were hosting. For. And then through a series of events, um, Jonathan Seacrest Okay, so so you had an offer to buy the company, and and uh, the rest is history, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, we love the campers so much. You know, we we travel around in our Kodiak all over the place. You know, we're rustic trail. Yeah, oh, I had a hard time getting hold of you. You was on on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're always out and about. So you know, uh, Amberly's involvement, you know, is uh, she's our creative director. Um, so she comes up with the decals, and uh, she helps. Uh, Great events for our bear gatherings. We're going to have three regional gatherings. This year. Ah, bear gatherings. Yes, great, yes. Great. So we're going to have one in Pennsylvania, we're going to have one in Utah, one in Georgia, um, and Amberly is really could be the mastermind behind all of All right. right. And Brains in the outfit, huh? <laughs> and then it one may, of them. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very important player to, to okay. make sure our company is well represented. But, and then, um, Derek and Meredith, but Derek is um, Amberly's brother. Okay. Um, yeah. Family owned business. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then my involvement in, in the business is I run the day to day operations, um, make sure we got all the materials and supplies so we can continue to make a great product. Super. All right. And, and what's Madeline's? Role here. <laughs> She's a product tester. <laughs> product tester. All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. She's well, a very special person. Yes. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, anything else that you want to add to uh, to that, or uh, maybe you want to tell me a little bit about the uh, the camper that we want to highlight today? We we highlighted the uh, uh, Kodiak last time, and today we're going to look at another one. Uh, which one do you want to highlight today? So today we're going to highlight the grizzly bear model. So it has our classic rounded teardrop shape to it. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. We're going we're gonna to take the camera over there and, and examine some of its features and uh, look forward to that. Um, so 
what would you say is the single most attractive feature of this particular trailer? We would say the overall simplicity of the camper. If it's easy enough for me to do it, <laughs> then it's easy enough for anyone. Great, great. Uh, these are all pretty much similar in that respect, aren't they? They're very simple to operate and uh, clean lines. I love them. Um, so, we know from looking at these before and from comments and, that I've had and Facebook comments that these are rugged uh, trailers, that they are uh, lightweight and economical. So, uh, what, uh, what makes these trailers so rugged and lightweight uh, to begin with? So really, it starts with the frame. So our frames are three sixteenths inch welded steel, cold rolled, welded. Um, it's not um, made on a wimpy assembly line. Um, they're all, you know, handcrafted, uh, made to order. Our fenders are welded on diamond plates, so you can actually step on those to put your kayak up on your roof. You can, um, you know, if you need to climb on the roof, it'll support your weight. Um, and then we use marine grade plywood and so it can withstand um, the, the weather and what you, you can throw at it for, for these campers. Mm -hmm. so, right. um, so uh, the uh, the weight is, is always a question when you're pulling a trailer. Uh, what kind of weight range are we talking about on uh, this unit? Um, so most of our campers weigh between about a thousand pounds to about 1800 pounds and that's depending upon the model and the options that you choose. Okay, naturally, what a, more, more you put on it, the more it is going to weigh. What about the price range? And I, I'm sure that holds true as well. Uh, pick out a lot of options, you're going to run the price up a little bit. What kind of range do you have there in price? Sure, so the campers range from about $8,000 to about $18,000. Okay. Depending on so it's pretty big price range, uh, but you know enables uh, a lot of people to be able to be able to get into camping and get a small camper. So you're basically building your own camper and setting your own price. Is it is that, that fair is, to say? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. well, he's yeah. leading. Um, so given the light weight of these, what do most people pull these? trailers with? So most people pull them with a small SUV, like a Subaru Outback, mm -hmm. and that seems to kill them Those well. are V6 engines or? Um, the four-cylinder Outback does pretty good. Okay. Um, I think the towing capacity, depending on the year, is 2,700 pounds. Okay. So that falls well under that. Yeah. So most people own that type of vehicle similar. Okay. Now, I know you offer quite a few options. What is the most popular add-on option that you offer? A lot of people spring for the air conditioning. Okay. Um, yeah. Especially if you're camping in the south in the summer. Right. Um, a battery kit is a very popular option because it does, we've, we've heard from customers that you know, are off-grid for several, up to several days even, and their battery lasts that long okay. on a single charge. Cool. Um, th probably the outside table is another very mm -hmm. popular option. It's not huge surface area, but it's proportionate uh, to the camper. Right. And uh, a, a really cool feature about that is the brackets that the table is uh, mounted to um, are rated for like 300 pounds a piece, something like that. Right. So the, the table really holds a, a can hold it. So you can sit on. <laughs> I can sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so really, really can hold an exceptional amount of uh, stuff. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I'm kind of a practical guy. Uh, I always think about stuff like maintenance. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I maintain mine annually when I get when I bring it in and when I get ready to go, what kind of maintenance would you recommend on a simple unit like you uh, sell it? So the key word is simple. Uh, we use all standard trailer industry parts. So if you do run into an issue, you can go to your local hardware store or, or 
trailer park store and get the supplies you need to maintain uh, these campers. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, they're equipped with a Dexter axle uh, with an easy loop system. You just pull off the center hub cap and there's a grease, grease fitting right there that you can grease your uh, wheel bearings every 5,000 5, miles. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also just typical camper um, maintenance. So checking your roof caulking, you know, three to five years on that, depending on your use and storage because uh, sunlight does break down RV caulking. Um, but other than that, again, it goes back to the materials that we use. Mar marine grade plywood, it is laminated with aluminum, um, and aluminum doesn't rust. It stands up really well to um, the environment. Um, so the maintenance is just typical um, trailer or vehicle maintenance. Right, and, and less of it. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you're looking at a fifth wheel compared to something like this, this is easy, and, and the size of these uh, enables you to put this in the garage, right? I mean, that's, in a lot that, of cases, yes. that protects them a great deal. I keep mine in the garage. So, uh, uh, what's next? What about, what about looking down the road? Uh, if I come back next year, now what, what have you got in the back of your mind thinking ahead? Any ideas? Sure. So, in the past year, we've made a lot of improvements to our campers. And, you know, we can highlight that in the grizzly, like the dinette and um, upgraded wiring and all sorts of kind of stuff. But really, we're, you know, just trying to keep up with the really heavy demand for campers right now. Um, and we're constantly always improving our product. Sometimes our customers uh, can see the improvements, sometimes they can't, so underneath the skin. Uh, oh. um, so it's really just uh, maintaining our features, upgrading our features and our options as, as well. Well, you've got quite an extensive line already, and uh, we're, we're happy to, uh, to show them. So uh, the last thing I, I feel is important, because I know we didn't answer all their questions, how are folks going to be able to get in touch with you and answer all their questions? Um, so you can visit our website, westextraleteardrops.com, and there's a page where you can submit questions, and they will email Steve, and Steve will get back to you as soon as he can, and try to answer all of your questions. Okay, and I'll try to put a link to that in the description below, and be sure and ask your questions in the comments, because uh, we'll try to answer all those that we can, and uh, appreciate your comments if you own one and would like to uh, uh, put in a good word, be sure and do that in the comments below. And uh, let's take a look at one of these units and uh, show you a little more detail about it. So let's have a look at the grizzly bear. Everything about the grizzly bear speaks of rugged durability. Look how high that rock guard goes on the front of this trailer. And even the air conditioner cover has that heavy duty rock guard on it. And heavy duty paint. Uh, this is well, well made trailer. As we go around to the side, I want you to notice the uh, tires on this. Uh, the uh, spare tire there, heavy tread, and the, that outlet right there is for your shore power. You put a uh, 110 volt extension cord in there and then that gets your lights and everything going on the inside. And a nice tinted glass window on both sides of this trailer. And here's the pass through storage which Steve's going to show us. That uh, door opens and stays open with a magnetic catch and both sides open like that and if you look up underneath you can even see that it's accessible from inside the trailer which is a great feature now look at the stabilizers here and i love those pads they put under the stabilizers a bear print that's great the heavy duty rock guard on the back as well along with that uh, uh, two inch receiver for your bike rack or whatever you want to put on the back of it Notice up top, on the top of the trailer, you can see that Max fan. Now let's let Derek tell us a little bit about the roof rack on this. One of the new popular features we have on our campers is the roof rack. These roof rack brackets we have custom made to fit our teardrop campers. And what it allows us to do is maximize the strength, but then also have the height uh, to maximize um, the ability for you to put it into your, your uh, your teardrop into your, your garage, um, which allows us to use these
cross rails, which are 80-20 rail. It's also known as the industrial rector set. So with these cross rails, you can put T-slot bolts in it. You can find all sorts of fasteners and hardware to allow you to mount your kayaks, your rooftop shower, your rooftop tent, any sorts of other accessories that you want to trick out for your teardrop camper. And so these are available on any of the models? So yes. Okay, thank you. So let's continue around this uh, trailer and see what the uh, uh, entrance side looks like. Of course, there's that pass-through storage. Notice the rock guard on the fender wells. Then uh, that door has a see-through glass on it. I really like that. And uh, this little uh, table, this is a, just a clip-on, add-on table. But this is no flimsy little outfit. Um, we can, uh, we can put some weight on that thing, it's sturdy. Then uh, this door has a little screen door on the inside and on the outside it's got right below the uh, solar panel input there is a magnetic latch. And uh, there you can see the bottom of the screen door. It's got a little latch on it. Open that, and then you can see the door from the inside it has a little curtain that comes down. I really like that feature. Let's take a look at the inside of this camper now. See what the bear looks like on the inside. And this cabinet work is all made from uh, birch plywood and uh, smooth finish. It's rugged and durable from top to bottom. They've got a dressed out really nice with that uh, Finland birch plywood. Now here's another look at the Max fan on the inside. It's got adjustable speed. I think it's about 10 speeds on that thing. It'll blow in or out and uh, I think it even pops up at a certain temperature. I think there's all kinds of adjustments on that thing. And talk about adjustments, look at this dinette table they got in here. And there's no way that thing's gonna get in the way. Completely movable. Uh, the windows open and the screens open as well. So you can easily uh, get some air in there and even open the screens if you want to. The light is all LED lights, so they don't take much battery power if you get the battery package. And uh, some of them are the uh, push button white and some of them are the uh, white and red for nighttime uh, lights. Uh, notice the room in these cabinets. Yeah, plenty of storage room in there for this little trailer. And down below they've got a uh, work counter surface there. You put your little TV there, your coffee pot or anything. And uh, plenty of little drawer space right there. Yeah. And then down below that, we've got uh, the electrical. Um, quality plywood and lightweight, durable. There's the, uh, all the hookups, just as simple as it can be. Uh, you got your uh, solar power hooks into there and all your other electrical. Uh, it has a junction right there. And there's the air conditioner on the inside. I think that's about a 5,000 BTU. And, uh, then under the uh, seats, under the bench, you've got more storage. Some people put a porta potty up under there and get it out of the way. Uh, but either way, you've got lots of good storage in this little trailer. And the thing will carry some weight. You can put a lot of stuff. There's a USB outlet even in the back. So uh, when you're sleeping there. Now there's that lid I was telling you about where you can access your storage underneath. Now that is really handy. And uh, now let me show you, let Steve show you how quickly this thing sets up for uh, a RV size queen bed. And uh, yeah, got it done in about nine seconds. <laughs> well, okay, all right, I sped it up just a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a nice big bed platform. And that's about it, isn't it, honey? Yeah, that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> So I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here at Rustic Trail Teardrop Campers. And uh, just want to say goodbye to uh, Steve and Amberly and see if there's anything else that they want to uh, share with us that maybe we forgot about. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video today. Uh, we just want to remind you to check out our website. Um, we built our website in-house here at Rustic Trail. 
And on our website, we have a question and answer section. Uh, we have a starter guide, and we also have a build and order page. So if you're looking to, to see how much our campers cost, what our current pricing is, our current lead time, uh, you could do so right on our website, and that's where you can actually order a camper as well. You can select all the different options and, uh, and, and put in an order uh, there. And if you happen to be watching this and you already own a rustic trail, feel free to check out our bear gatherings. We have three happening this summer, one in Pennsylvania, one in Utah, and one in Georgia. So you can check out our website or our Facebook page for more information on those. Perfect, yeah. And remember to always follow the trail. Well, thank you for joining me today. And as always, may all your journeys be safe, and may God bless you.